Hello. My name is Hans George Campbell and today I thought I'd do an unboxing of this EasyCap 283S HD video capturing device that I recently purchased from eBay. Okay, um, I bought one of these about three years ago and I've been using it uh, ever since and they work really well. They're very good quality and I've never had any problems out of it so I thought I'd buy another one because I want to have one hooked up to my PC of course and I want to have another one, a second one, hooked up to my Amiga 2000 computer because I plan on doing a lot of uh, Amiga gameplay footage and I want to show that on my YouTube channel and I'm sure you guys would love to watch that as well so I, so, so I thought to myself okay I'll go ahead and buy me another one of these since they work so well you know I've never had any problems out of it anyway here it is Now, I'll show you everything else that's in the box, and then we'll get to the main unit. So, it comes with a remote, which is nice. <clears throat> comes with a remote, right here. And I don't really use the remote that much, but I don't know, I might start using it. So, but anyway, there's a remote right there. And it comes with, uh, this I believe is an external infrared receiver that plugs in the front. It's like, uh, it plugs in the front, it's like a... An, ex an external um, like infrared receiver or IR you know plugs into the front of the unit but that's it comes with that one of those and of course it comes with the 5 volt power supply and I think this is rated at 2 amps any standard 5 volt power supply will work now what I did this is just a cheap, it's a real cheap um, adapter. And sometimes, okay, if you ever have problems with the EasyCap 283S, okay, um, it could be the power supply that's included. So just throw this thing in the garbage and get yourself a good quality 5 volt power supply that's at least 2 amps. Make sure it's got your standard connector like that, you know. And that should solve that problem because sometimes these are bad. So if you ever have problems with the EasyCap 283S, it's most likely the power supply that comes with it. Just throw this thing in the garbage. In fact, I don't even use this on my other one that I have. You know. Oh, and also a lot of times these are not two amps, even though they say two amps on them. It's not two amps, so it's it's not enough current. The the EasyCap needs over an amp of current to operate uh, properly so that could be the problem too alrighty and it comes with this thing here I and mean, it's a thing that you press through a hole I think it's on the side it's for resetting uh, the onboard whatever it is the chip or whatever that's on, that's in the main chip or something's in the inside this is you press it through the hole and it re, it's supposed to reset everything Okay, and it comes with the software, uh, HD Video Capture um, 
Oh, ArcSoft. Okay, this, if this is the software that I think it is, ArcSoft, yeah. I did, I don't know if, um, if you've watched the video or not, but I've already done a video, and it's on my YouTube channel, uh, showing you how to use this software that comes with this HD video capturing device, and this is actually some very nice software. So you do get this really nice uh, software here with this with this uh, EasyCap 283S. So yeah, I forgot that this came with this. Yeah. Okay, and you get um, well the instructions and and all that good stuff. Okay, it comes with. Um, the HD, HD Video Capture Quick Start Guide. And it's like a fold-out. It just folds out and you read it. You know, but it comes with that. And it also comes with um, the guide for OBS. Because this... You can do streaming with this just like you can with the Elgato. In fact, this right here, this unit right here is just as nice as the Elgato. In fact, I think it's actually nicer. It's better quality at less than half the price of an Elgato. Okay? Anyway, um, now for a quick commercial break. And we will be back shortly. Hello, ladies. Look at your man. Now look at me. Now look back at your man. Now look back at me. Sadly, your man is not me. But he could smell like me if he stopped using that lady-scented body wash and he switched to the old-fashioned manly scent of Old Spice. Okay, we're back. Now let's take a look at the main unit. Yeah, I highly recommend these. I think they're just as good as the Elgato at less than half the, uh, the price. So they're actually very nice. And like I said, I already bought one of these about three years ago. And so I can tell you from experience that they work really well. I've never had any problems out of it. They're good quality. Never had any overheating problems. Um, like I said, the only problem that I actually had was with the power supply that comes with it. I had to basically throw that in the garbage and buy a new uh, power supply. And then it works fine. I mean, this works fine. Anyway, there's the HD video capture. Uh, the official name is the EasyCap 283S. So if you want to look for this on eBay or Amazon, that's what you would type in. EasyCap 283S. That's the name of this unit. Okay, so let me get my pointer. Got to get my pointer. Okay. So, um, these are your status... LEDs right here. In fact, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put that down like that. Um, and I'm going to zoom in. I think it would be better if I do it that way. Okay. This way it's not shaking all over the damn place. And, and you can see it better. But, yeah. Anyway. Okay. These right here are the status LEDs. Okay, you got your power... You got your record, you got your 1080p LED, your 720p LED, uh, you've got HDMI, or you have your um, component video, and you also have color composite video with your audio. That's what both of them are on. The first button here is your record button. You press that to start, and you press it again to stop your recording. 
This switches the EasyCap 283S from 720p to 1080p. Uh, this is your source selection button. And I believe this is your snapshot button. If you want to take a picture of whatever is you know, whatever you're capturing, you can actually take a snapshot. That's what that button's for. And this here is your settings button. Um, yeah, that's your settings button. And this right here is your screen. This is this mainly shows you the time and the date, and it allows you to set this up for um, timed capturing. In other words, you can you can start this at a certain time and end it at a certain time. It's great for like if you want to record a TV show or something like that. You know, uh, it's great for or, or like. Um, uh, someone is doing a live stream on YouTube and, you want, and they're, they're going to start that at a certain time and you want to make sure you, you, you get that, you know? That's what that's for. And I think that's what the settings button is for. It's sort of setting all of that up, you know? All right. Well, uh, let me zoom back out um, a little bit. Okay, so this right here is your infrared uh, receiver, and this is where you plug in the external one, the IR ex external one plugs in there. Uh, you would plug in your USB thumb drive or memory stick or a USB hard drive. I use a USB hard drive. I found that they're actually much more reliable than using a thumb stick. I've had problems using thumb drives. Uh, this is your line out. Uh, this is your microphone input. You're going to need this for narrating if you want to narrate your videos that you're capturing. And this sets the volume of the microphone. I usually have it set um, about at the halfway point. You have to adjust it because you don't want your narration to overpower uh, what you are capturing. Okay, you want your viewer to be able to hear, like, like if you're going, if you're doing um, gameplay footage and stuff like that, you want your viewers to be able to hear the game music and, and the sounds coming from the game or whatever, you know. So yeah, you adjust your microphone uh, to where it's slightly below what the sounds are of whatever you're capturing. Okay, so that's a nice feature about this. And then this right here. Remember, I, it came with that. I showed you a little silver thing. You plug it into these holes here for resetting this device. That's what that's for. Uh, one of them is uh, you can see the LED. I think it comes on when you're streaming from your PC, and the other one I think is for resetting. And this is a micro USB. So that's where you can plug in the USB coming from your PC. Just like the Elgato, you can do live streaming with this. And on the back here, um, okay, on the back here you have your uh, your DC input, your five volts input, just a standard five volt power supply. Okay, plugs into there. You've got your HDMI input coming from your source. You have your HDM, HDMI output going to your monitor or your HDTV. You have your color composite input and your left and right input here. Okay, that's great for like a Super Nintendo or a Commodore 64 or anything that, that's um, color composite. You know, an 8-bit Atari computer or an Apple II computer. You know, that's great. This is great for that. Then you have component input right here that you also use with the left and right audio. Now this is how, I mean, this is where I plug in my Sony PlayStation 2. And if you want to see how this thing captures from a PlayStation 2, just uh, go to my Disc-Based Games YouTube channel. And all the, all the videos that you see on that YouTube channel was captured using the EasyCap 283S. So if you want to see how well this captures uh, in 720p, okay. So yeah, this is a very nice unit. I just thought I'd show it today.
to do an, like an unboxing. And uh, let me zoom back in. Yeah, I thought I'd do an unboxing of it. Okay. Show it to you. Talk a little bit about it. You know. Yeah. I don't want to go overboard here. Just as long as it looks nice on the camera. That's all I care about. Now, it doesn't have any feet on the bottom, so you're going to have to provide your own feet or put, install your own feet, you know. Uh, that's no big deal. You know, other than that, okay, the, the case here is all heavy gauge steel. It's a really nice metal case. This is very high quality. And I think that the EasyCap 283S is actually better than the Elgato that, that everyone, you know, uh, raves about. You know, the Elgato, I mean, as far as I'm concerned, I think that this right here blows the doors off the Elgato. It really does. And that's coming from my own personal experience. I bought one of these three years ago, and I'm still using it today. And I love it so much that I decided to buy a second unit uh, for use with one of my Amiga 2000 computers to do the capturing of anything that I do on that Amiga computer. And stay tuned for those exciting videos, because you're going to love them. Trust me on that. But, yeah, I think that the EasyCap 283S blows the doors off the Elgato at less than half the price. That's right, less than half the price, boys and girls. This cost me about $110 plus shipping. In fact, I think it was free shipping. So $110. The Elgato is what, $280, $300? It's ridiculous. You know, for basically the same thing. And the Elgato, I think, is a plastic case. It's a plastic case. It's lower quality. Whereas this is a nice metal case. Much higher quality. Anyway, that's it for this review. I hope you enjoyed this video. Well, actually, it's more of an unboxing than a review. Uh, but I, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you have not subscribed yet, maybe you should. If you like watching YouTube videos about vintage computers and vintage computer software in their original boxes and you know repairs and recaps and upgrades and reviews on modern hardware as long as uh, as well as uh, vintage hardware and things like that you know if you like watching um, Commodore and Amiga gameplay uh, uh, playthroughs you know with narration and things like that I think you're gonna really love my channel so maybe you should should subscribe and also by subscribing that gives me the incentive to continue to create great content for your viewing pleasure. And it helps me out. I mean, I'm 63 years old. I'm drawing my Social Security, so I'm on limited income. So if I can make a little extra money for my YouTube channel, you guys will really be helping me out. You'll be helping a, a fellow uh, vintage computer lover and video gamer like yourselves. You'll really be helping me out. Anyway... That's it for this video. My name is Hans George Campbell. And until next time.